Hey, welcome everybody. This video is for anybody that wants to migrate their WordPress website to Coolify without too much hassle. Now in this video, I'm going to go over super quickly how I've done it for my own personal website and let's begin. Now in order to make the process easy, I actually used plugin. So imagine that this is your current website and you want to back it up in order to be able to migrate it. The plugin that I used is called Updraft Plus and it's totally free to back up your website and restore it from here as well. So if I go to premium extensions and from here you will see that this plugin is free and you can back up to remote location and choose where you want to back it up if you wish to. Now the way to do this is by going to backup and restore and then from here you can click backup now and choose the backup that you want. In this case we want the database and we also want the files and then just click backup now. I've already done this last night yesterday and I backed up the database plugins teams uploads and the other data and this was backed up to Google Drive for me so here are the files here are the basically those last files are the ones that were backed up yesterday so I have the database, other plugins, themes and uploads. I've already downloaded those on my computer and I'm going to show you how we can in order to migrate the website. Now, in this case, let's go back to Coolify and let's create a brand new WordPress website just as an example. Now, on the projects, I've created a project called blog. Let's go in and then I've got one environment called production. So let's go inside and this is actually my blog that is currently running and I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to create a new one and show you the process. So from here, you need to add a new resource. And then if you scroll to the bottom, you will see that we have a couple of options. One is WordPress with MariaDB. The other one is WordPress with MySQL. And the last option here is WordPress without a database. Now, my original website was WordPress with MySQL, but I really wanted to try WordPress with MariaDB this time because MariaDB is the open source uh, database and that should work absolutely fine. So I'm going to go with WordPress with MariaDB, click on it, and I want to install it on localhost and then standalone Docker. Let's click here and then we can give our service a name. I'm just going to call it new blog like so, and then we can save this and deploy. Okay, now that our website is deployed, we can close this. I can see that something is wrong with it here. So if I hover over, it says healthy state. In order to fix this, all you need to do is click the refresh button here and hopefully that should fix the problem. So now if I scroll down, you should be able to see the URL that has been auto-generated with my domain name here. So if I click edit, uh, this is the current domain name and this is what I'm going to use to start with. But then later on, I'm going to show you how I replace mine with my real domain name, which is ready.dev. So if you copy this and then go to the browser, from here, you should be able to see the WordPress welcome screen. Let's create a quick WordPress website. So I'm going to click English. Then the site name is going to be Ruddy. Username is going to be Ruddy. I'm going to copy this password and I'm going to put my email address. And then install WordPress. Let's log in. I'm going to put Ruddy and the password and then click Remember Me. And now that we have the website working, we can install the same plugin, the Updraft plugin in here and restore the data. So in plugins, add new, search for Updraft. Let's install it now, activate, refresh. And then if you go to plugins and if I click on settings and then here where we have existing backups, we don't have any just yet, but you can upload yours. So if you click upload backup files from here, you can either drag and drop the files or select them. Here are my backup files. I got the uploads, the team, the plugins, other and the database. So I'm going to grab the whole thing here and open it. And this should take a couple of seconds to upload, depending obviously on how large your website is. Okay, now that we have a backup, we can use this backup to restore our website. So if you click restore, from here, we need to choose what we want to restore. And in this case, it's absolutely everything. And then click next. Now, from here, I'm getting a warning because basically my previous version was 8.1, but the current version here is 8.2.19 and that should work absolutely fine for my WordPress website. Now I did have a strange redirect problem with my website, but this could be my website only. I'm not so sure, but here is how I fixed it. So if you click here, where if you want to restore all your database table, if you click here, the one that was breaking my website for some reason was the option. 
So what I've done is I actually didn't use the option table and then manually I had to update some of my options such as the title of the website, the logo, description, icon and so on. So this is what worked for me, but uh, feel free to test both, I guess. Once you're happy with this, click restore and this should take some time in order to restore all the plugins, themes, uploads, database and so on. Let's click on return to Updraft Plus configuration and our website should be good. All right, it kicked me out because obviously I restored the database and now my login is totally different. So I'm going to have to go back to my old website and find my login. Okay, let's remember me and let's log in. Okay, so far so good. If I click on post, for example, you'll see that all of my posts have been migrated. If I click on media, all of the images should be here. Yep. And so on. If I click on plugins, you will see that I have the plugins, but I believe that because I didn't import my options table, that the plugins are actually disabled. So you can go and enable them. And then the last thing that I need to do is go on the appearance and activate my team. If you go back to the dashboard and in fact, let's go and visit the website super quickly. As you can see, my website is now working. Obviously the logo isn't appearing because of the options and this menu is not working purely because I need to assign a menu to it, but this is specific to my team. So yours is going to be totally different. Uh, in order to fix this for my website, it will be customized, then menus, and then the main menu. And I just have to select this one here. That's it. But this, as I said, this is specific to my website and it will be the same with the logo. I'll have to go to site identity, I have to select the logo, site title, and so on. The last thing that I wanted to talk about here is that if you go to your website and if you go to settings and general, from here, you might need to update some of your settings such as the date format, the, the time format. Also an important one will be the permalinks. For example, you might need to update your permalink structure to your old one and so on. But this is specific to my case because of the redirect, I had to leave the default options table. The last thing that I'm going to talk about is the domain name. If we go back from here, if you click edit, you can put your domain name. For me, it would be ruddy.dev, save it, and then make sure that you restart and then this should be using your new domain name. But also you need to point your domain name to the actual server. So if I go back and show you the real website, prediction, blog. So this is the real website. And if I click here, you'll see that I have my domain name. And now I'm going to show you how I configure that to work. So I'm managing my domain name records with Cloudflare. And from here, basically I had to add two records, a record, with ruddy.dev and a record with www and both of those records go to the actual server where my qualifier instance is located and i'm going to show you this in a second and the other thing that i wanted to do is to redirect every www to non www and in order to do that i had to do a little bit of trickery because i couldn't do it from qualify so if you go to rules and if you go to page rules i know it's deprecated but this is the only way I managed to do it so far. But essentially, if you create a new page row from here, you can put your website URL slash and star and then forwarding URL is going to be free or one permanent redirect. And then enter destination URL is going to be your domain name slash dollar sign one. Save this and this should do the URL redirect from www to non www. And for the domain name, I said that you need to point it to the server. In order to get your server IP, you can just go to your hosting provider. I just moved to Hetzner recently. So this is going to be the IP. Basically, I copy this and put it to the A record. All right. The last thing that I wanted to show you is how you can connect to your database remotely. So from your PC to the database on Qualify. And that's very easy to do. Under here where MariaDB is, you can click on settings. You can apply a public port. For me, I've put this as 3306 and you can just select, make this publicly available. Make sure that you save it. If you need to restart the server, restart it. And obviously make sure that your virtual private server has this port open. For example, if I go back to Hetzner and if I go to my firewalls and if I go to firewall, here, you'll see that I've opened this port and that's why I'm able to access it. Now, in order to connect to it, let's go back to the blog. And then in order to connect to it, you can use the MariaDB user from here and the MariaDB password from here. 
As an example, I'm using Hedy SQL. And from here, I've got the host name as the main domain name. And then I've got the user from here and the password from here. I've already done it. The port is 3306 and I can just click open and this would open my database. And that's pretty much everything I had to do. I hope that you find this useful. Consider liking this video, subscribe for more videos like this, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.